British economist Paul Collier's non-fiction book The Bottom Billion, Why the Poorest Countries Fail and What to Do About It, 2007, examines the critical problems facing the world's more than 50 poorest countries and proposes ways to address them, how these problems can be fixed. Collier argues that while most countries in the developing world face huge problems associated with poverty, of the 5 billion people in the developed world, 1 billion live in countries where conditions are not improving at all. So the international aid money should be directed towards these billions of people who are stuck in what he calls development traps. He then proceeds to identify a number of these so-called developmental pitfalls. For example, conflict trap. Countries trapped in conflict are usually in the midst of a brutal civil war. Not only do civil wars have dire consequences in terms of violence and suffering, Collier says that civil wars have huge economic costs. He estimates that, on average, a civil war costs a country a whopping $64 billion. The biggest problem with this trap is its self-replicating nature. The longer a country remains in conflict, the few people at the top who benefit from the conflict get stronger. Thus, those who have the most control over the fate of the country are now interested in creating and perpetuating conflict. Another example is the natural resource trap. The author gives a paradox, according to which the more a country is rich in natural resources, the less prosperous the country is. This is true for a number of reasons, he writes. For example, excess resources naturally lead to conflict, which creates conflict traps. In addition, the leadership of the country will simply enrich itself at the expense of natural resources, and not tax citizens, and then offer services in return. This gives rise to a lack of financial accountability from the country's leadership, which further exacerbates the practice of stealing all resources for themselves. Then a phenomenon known as Dutch disease occurs, where natural resources are so profitable in a country that the country's currency is overvalued which greatly distinguishes other industries in that country from competition in any meaningful form. Another trap is the bad neighbors landlocked. Landlocked countries, the author writes, have no coastline and therefore can only trade with neighboring countries. However, if these countries lack the resources or infrastructure for full-fledged trade, they deprive neighboring landlocked countries of the opportunity to take advantage of a growing global economy. This phenomenon also creates a contagion effect in which poverty spreads from one country to another across literal borders. The last trap the author discusses is bad governance in a small country. Bad governance is never good, but it is especially detrimental to small countries. While the cost of living in these countries is low, the smaller population deters international investors. Global investors would rather invest in countries like India and China where there is no shortage of people who make their products or provide their services. The last part of the book is devoted to possible solutions to these problems. First, aid agencies should focus primarily on the 50 or so countries most stuck in these development traps. Collier also writes that when there is military intervention, it should always be to establish or maintain democratic governments. However, they should never be used to encourage coups, because coups, like civil wars, exacerbate a country's conflict trap. The international community should also create charters requiring countries that have historically been badly governed to follow certain patterns and practices of good governance. Finally, while free trade should be the goal, preferential export rates should be given to the poorest billion people as defined by Collier. The bottom billion is both a fascinating set of political decisions and a sobering look at how a staggering number of the world's citizens live day to day. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.